This is Ian, aka the Revolutionary Yogi from Savvy Zen, and today we're going to learn how to open up our shoulders with kettlebells. In yoga, we're doing so much chaturanga, so much pressures on the hands, that the, the end of that chain is our shoulders, and that gets so tense. And these three weighted exercises are great ways to open up your shoulders. Okay, everyone, let's first grab the kettlebell. Okay, here we have it. This isn't chaturanga, right? Here we go. First, around the head, we're gonna grab the kettlebell like this, both hands on the on the handle, and we're gonna bring it up above our heads and rotate it around. Really try to emphasize it pulling back. Our arms do not get in this position in yoga. So back down to the chest, back down. You know, some people just are kind of bringing it around the head. Really emphasize bringing it around. Start with a light weight. Don't pull your shoulders. Don't go. Don't be going back here. Just nice and easy, but make sure you're feeling it. You should really feel it back in this tricep area, the medial triceps, and the front of the shoulder. That's where I, you know, get a lot of that work. So next, pick the kettlebell back up, and now we're going to do around the world, around the, cousin, around the head's cousin. It's going to be the same motion, but we're going to bring this around. Relax the shoulder blades, keep a, a steady pelvis. This is opening the shoulders in a different way because it's getting weighted downward. Usually we're pushing it up, but the shoulder is getting pulled down right here. And we're moving it in, around in different motions away from the body. This is a great one I like to do even before a yoga workout to make sure that my shoulders are stable. Third, the third and last one is the most dynamic exercise, so make sure you're warmed up a little. You know, just do your normal warm up for a workout or a yoga workout. It's going to be called windmills. Okay, time to first work the rotational power that we miss in our typical yoga practice with some windmills. Left arm brings it up. We're gonna bring the right foot forward a little bit, comparable to tree pose, but with weight. Come down, touch the toe. Up. Up. Eight reps, other side. Right arm brings it up. Left leg comes forward. Up. Rotation in the hips. Rotate the right hip forward, left hip back. Between the two, let's do some around the heads. Bring it all the way around. Let's do eight reps total. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't do these motions in yoga. When are your hands up here? You know, maybe in headstand, but there's no load in the arms like this. So here we go again. Left arm comes up, right leg steps forward. Eight reps, rotate the hips. Pull, don't push it though. Switching sides, right arm comes up, left foot forward, eight reps. Okay, eight around the heads. Okay, now we're gonna work the conlateral lines. We never hit this in yoga, like with weight, this is one of the best exercises you can find for the upper body and to really balance out these hips. So. We start with the left hand. Now I'll take it slow for you guys. So we're gonna we're gonna step the right leg forward into a squat, and then we're gonna bring the hand up and rotate out. 
squat, external, internal rotation of this, external on the uh, way up. So let's do eight reps this side, eight reps the other side. You don't need to go all the way, just find this motion slowly before you start doing full reps. So here we go. Switching sides, right hand comes. We're gonna step with the left leg. Try to keep the squares as hip, the hips as square as you can. Let's start. Okay. If you haven't felt that before, because we don't work it in yoga, we're going this way with the upper body, left side. One last time, guys. Right leg forward. Switching sides. Here we go. Left leg will come forward. Right arm this way. Internal, external rotation. Okay, the last exercise is the most dynamic exercise, so make sure you're warmed up. I know us yogis after our workout sometimes have to do our laundry. So today we're gonna do a little laundry. This one's called the yoga sheet shake. So we're gonna, we're gonna set it right here and we're gonna start slowly bringing it side to side to get warmed up. And boom, now we're gonna explode to the side and use this to rotate. Just like we're shaking the sheet, right? Practice without a kettlebell first. The motion's in the hips. Right here, this is where we're moving, right? The shoulder is really nothing with our shoulders. It's just to get it up there. But this is gonna really work the side, the side of our lats that don't ever move this way. When are we going this way in yoga? With power, with weight, we never are. And that's gonna create imbalances. That's gonna create problems. That's why people have shoulder injuries or back injuries and this is a great exercise for that. So try these exercises out, take them slow, and start to loosen up your shoulders from all those chaturangas, all those handstands, and everything else. This is Ian Katnak from Savvy Zen. Like and subscribe to see all the greatest videos for yoga.